morning. It's Sunday morning. It's bright and early, about 7.30. And at the old man's place, we're uh, day one of uh, boat pimping. Pimping. So we're um, doing a bit of work to the trailer today, a bit of trailer maintenance, a bit of trailer love. We're going to put a big gang plank down the middle so you can walk down the trailer. And we're also going to do a bit of rust proofing. If we have time, we all know how long construction takes. But the boat is at a mate's place on some tyres. We're under cover and we're cutting things. So, yeah, this is how you chuck a walkway down your trailer. So, what's this? This is alley. What's this actually called? It's like the stuff they like extruded aluminium gang plank that they use on walkways in industrial buildings. Yeah, so... Perfect, perfect. Got a grip on it, nice texture there so you won't be slipping over. Perfect. So we're going to run it from front of the trailer all the way down the back so when you're launching and retrieving, obviously tinnies, you can't really drive them on and off as much. So, yeah, going to add that to the middle, U-bolts and a bit of rust proofing. And uh, if anyone's ever slipped over the boat ramp, right there and then banged your shin, this is the answer. See? All the handy tips. Oh, construction time. have two supports each there should be able to get them between here if we're lucky and uh, run it straight down the middle that will well, it'll sit flat on this little u-bend here on the um, trailer but that shouldn't be a problem at all the boat won't hit it and uh, yeah should be able to walk the whole way down the trailer and clip her up and keep your feet dry let's give it a whirl it's coming together nicely Obviously, you're going to have to uh, give these a file down because they are sharp as all the, uh, the metal cut bits. They've got an edge on them, so need to give them a file down before, otherwise you slip and you slice your leg open on that. So we've hit our first minor snag, it's only minor. So for the walkway, I think Tez accounted more for his 69 kilo frame and not my 90 kilo frame. So. Standing up this back section here, that's fine. That'll that'll hold well, but the gap up the front here is just a bit too big and it bends a lot. So we're gonna have to put a little support strap or some sort of stirrup in there to um just to bridge the gap a bit so fat people like myself don't fold it in half. Or you can stop going to the gym. Yeah, that's right, it's all gains. Muscle weighs four times more than fat. Proven fact. That's what I'm sticking to. While we've got everything off, we're gonna give the trailer a quick paint with Rust Conquer, X-Troll Rust Conquer UV. Now that, we're gonna uh, put on all the exposed trailer parts, and that should keep this trailer looking a million bucks for a million years, but yeah, it'll definitely extend the life of it, stop all corrosion and rust pitting and all that sort of stuff, so yeah. A bit of a fiddly process, but the time you spend now is the time you save later. I don't know if that brush idea worked well. A little bit. At least the edge of the can won't rust. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't say it's not a fiddly job, but you kind of got to get everything. So, yeah, roller and paintbrush combination. I'm doing the, the bulk. So all the flat surfaces, then Tez is coming through with the paintbrush and getting in all the little nooks and crannies. It's gonna take a little while, but yeah, not too bad. At least it's not hot. It could be worse. Could be worse. Could be stuck at the side of the highway with a trailer that's just falling apart and no way to get it home. That would suck. So I've finished all the big bulk parts of that. 
I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but it's getting a bit of shine to it. We've got to wait till it's uh, touch dry, and then I can chuck another coat on. Wait for a test to catch up on the little little ins and outs and stuff. But yeah, it didn't take that long. Well, this is a well, it's a 4.2 meter trailer or for a 4.2 meter boat. It's taken probably about 40 minutes so far. Um, I dare say it'll take a couple of hours by the time we're done. It's not um, not terrible. Could be worse. Well, the whole trailer's painted, two coats. It's uh, drying nicely. We're just going to chuck on an easy loader uh, system, I guess, for the back, just so you can. That was an easy guide. Oh, this guy here. So when you're launching solo, you just chuck it in there, and it helps you load it up easy. No worries at all. So we're going to install that. Then we'll get onto the walkway. I don't know how much time we'll have for the walkway, but I might have to leave the camera with Tez and he can film the rest of it. Vlogs the, the Tez edition. We might get him to put a shirt on though. Mine's, my shirtlessness is heaps better. So these guys, just U-bolt. U-bolt there, like so. Sit like that and they just catch the front of your boat. So I'm going to need two hands for this, but I'll, uh, I'll sh run you through it when they're on. This is how they sit, and these are spring-loaded in there, so once the boat actually gets on them, they flex out and support the weight of the back of the boat. They're um, yeah, pretty cool bit of kit. We're just working on the, um, the gangplank up the middle now, just seeing how it's going to fit into here and, and the rest of them, but it's coming together. So this is on, we've just U-bolted the, uh, the gangplank on. Through there, it sits in between the easy, easy guide, and then we'll put the back roller back on that goes slots in here. We've cut little um, notches out for that. Looks good. Pretty supportive here. It's not too bad. Missed oh, perfection. Catch your foot on that. You shouldn't be walking down that far. Right, oh, because the back of the boat sits on those uh, easy guide things, uh, we do have to move the winch post back the same amount it's going to back so it's about 100 mil we need to move it back so we're just moving that back now that's just so you don't winch the boat over the back of this so the boat usually comes to about there if you winch it over the back of these obviously being spring loaded they'll just lock back into place and you won't be able to get your boat off so you just bring the winch post back a little bit to suit uh, otherwise yeah you'll you'll uh, find out that the hard way Little trap for young players. But gangplank's on as well. Need a couple more U-bolts to, to lock these down, but goes pretty well. And something to support the middle here, just for fat people and myself. <laughs> well, I'm more muscle, of course. But yeah, that'll be all we're doing today. Run out of time, but yeah. Productive little morning session. Might have to go for a fish to celebrate. Yeah. A bit of, bit of prawn action. It's coming up to Easter. Gives you a bit of an idea of when we're doing this. So we might try and get out for some prawns. Pre the Easter crowds because it's going to be gnarly out there. But yeah, we'll uh, keep you posted with proceedings. Righto. This is the Easy Guide or whatever it's called in action. Let's see if it guides it easily. It's gonna have to, a bit of wind. Nope. Stop. Just think put it in the middle. Fucking not much of an easy guide then. <laughs> see how we go. Out of the, um, as the hub comes up. Hey. Works good. Test run with both today. Um, and yeah, got a few prawns. It's terrible for video. Yell that.
and this is the trailer with the coating. See how the water just kind of beads off, doesn't doesn't sit. Yeah, it just runs off. So yeah, all in all, pretty happy with it. Just got to think with those easy guides, we've got to move them up a touch just so they work a bit better. And yeah, should be done.